G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to show you the proper techniques of gluing coral into your tank. We have this awesome tall reef tank behind us and we're going to use it as an example of exactly how to glue corals into your reef. Before we talk about the corals that we're going to glue into this tank, let's just talk about the tank itself because it truly is a striking feature in this house. It's four feet long by two and a half feet wide, but the height is the amazing thing about this tank. It's actually over a meter high, and so it gives it this really beautiful presence in the house and is going to allow us to create a really nice aquascape. So you can see we've got the bommy set up uh, we've got a couple of corals glued in already. There's the Cinellaria, the Corellomorphs, and we also have a frog spawn, which was put in a couple of weeks ago, and they're all doing really well. This tank's about three months old, and we've really just started to add the corals to this tank. We've also got four fish, which have been in here for a few weeks, uh, the four chromas, and there's a couple of mollies getting around. An interesting aspect of this system is the filter room behind the tank. So let's have a look at that. So here we are in the filter room behind the tank. The tank is up here. Everything you do on this tank, you actually have to get up on the ladder and go in over the back here. So it does make it a challenging tank to work on and you'll see that when we start to glue the corals in. We have our external overflow with the plumbing that leads down to the sump. The sump of course has the skimmer. We've got a great white skimmer on the system. Uh, we've got our chiller in this area as well. And it's quite a, a unique space in here We've got our control center up here. This is still a work in progress. We have to add our doser as well as a few other things, but certainly the maintenance of this system is quite challenging given the dimensions. So let's have a look at the glue we're gonna use and how we're gonna glue corals into this tank. First of all, we'll have a look at the glue we're going to use today, and then we'll have a look at the corals we'll be gluing. So we have our Gallery Aquatica Coral Gel Glue, and it's a particularly good glue for this type of gluing. So we'll just open up the box and show you. Uh, so it's a 20 gram glue, and you get two lids, which is particularly good because it means that if you do clog one up, you can just swap the lid out. But what I'm going to do is open it up by taking off that part and you just twist this on. Now, typically if you're fragging, you'll use this little nozzle and that's a very easy way to be precise with your fragging. But the types of corals that we have here today, I'm actually going to use it with the large opening like so. Now, I would look to get about uh, 15 frags glued with one of these. We sell these for $15, so you're looking at about a dollar a frag. I would probably do three small corals with one of these, or maybe two large corals. Let's have a look at the corals we're gluing. So we have a variety of corals that we're gonna be gluing today. We have a small Duncan Opsamia. There's a Sarko Phyton toadstool leather. We have a platygyra on a plate and a small hammer. We also have two stroms. Uh, strom snails will require minimal gluing and we'll probably throw them straight in the tank. Um, but let's have a look at the tank and we'll think about where we're gonna put these corals. When you're gluing corals into the tank, it's very important to have a good idea as to exactly where you're going to put the corals before you use the glue. And first of all, our Duncan Opsamia, I want it to come out off a ledge so that it's overhanging. And I'm thinking probably up the top here, one of these two uh, higher spots should be pretty good for that. Um, the leather coral will probably put down lower in the tank. It's on its own little bit of rock. So we might not even glue that one, I'm not too sure yet. The platygyra, I want to be relatively low in the tank. They don't like a lot of light, and it certainly will do well in this tank in the bottom half. So probably somewhere, maybe on this ledge just here. So we'll uh, have a look at the corals. I'll put them in place and see if I can work out the best location, and then we'll put our glue on and glue them in. All right, so. So here's our Duncan. I'll uh, just line it up in the tank and work out exactly where it's going to go. 
before we glue it. I think I've found the perfect spot for this Duncan Op Samia. It's not as uh, horizontal as I was hoping, but there's this perfect little hole in the Carib Sea shape rock that we've used to allow that uh, little base part to go straight in. And uh, as it grows out this way, it will actually create, uh, well, it will grow more horizontal. But the reason why I'm so happy with this position is because it really means that we'll be able to use that rock in its entirety by putting things on top that won't clash with this piece. I think it'll also be perfect for flow and light. So I'm really keen to put this exactly where I've got it. Now, being a, a position where it's in a bit of a nook, I'll have to use the glue around the entire side of that little end uh, base part. So a little bit different to how I was planning it, but we'll show you how we do it, and I think it's gonna work out perfect. So I'm going to apply glue quite generously to the base here. I'm gonna use a lot. I'm gonna put it in right. The more glue, the better. Okay, it didn't go perfectly to plan because as I was trying to insert the base into that hole, I actually dropped it, but luckily I was able to pick it back up again. And this glue is so sticky that I was still able to put it in place and it looks like it's held really, really well. So that's our Dunkin' Op Samia. Let's have a look at the next coral we have to glue in. So the next coral is a Platygyra. And I definitely like to put these low in the tank. Uh, it doesn't look like much at the moment out of water. There's a brittle star. So let's see where we're going to put this. Well, this is definitely where I want this Platygyra coral. At the moment, looking at it, the uh, angle is very, very horizontal. It's very flat. And so you can't really see the patterns or the colors. But what it will do over the months and years to follow is it will sort of flow down the rock and it will give us a better angle to view this coral. I like the position because it's also under that Duncan that we glued in. So the light that it will receive will be quite filtered. It's really at the, the top of where I would like it to be in terms of the distance from the bottom. Uh, the light will be relatively bright for it there, but I think it'll do really well. So let's glue in our platygyra. I think it's the perfect spot for it. Definitely uh, exactly where I had it. And I could tell when I pushed it down that uh, the glue sort of moved around and it's going to stick really, really well. This glue is a particularly sticky, good quality glue. So we now have our hammer and our Sarko Phyton. I'll do the hammer next. My plan is to have a bit of a hammer garden on this right hand side of the tank. So I think I'm going to glue this little hammer frag up into the top onto this ledge section here. Um, it will still allow us to have acroporas and things that are going to branch up through because they'll be more on the peaks of this rock. Um, and then we'll have more hammers and frog spawn down the side. So this should be a pretty easy one to glue in. 
So this is actually one of the frags that Anya's already made and it's gonna be the easiest by far to glue in. It's gonna be very easy, I'll make good contact, straight in. That hammer definitely glued in beautifully. Uh, it's very easy when it's a small little frag and you've got a flat, a flat spot that you're gonna put it on. So now let's have a look at this Sarko Phyton. Uh, it's a total leather, it's quite large. And uh, I don't know exactly where it's gonna go, somewhere low in the tank. So we'll try a few spots. So this one has this large base and I chose it because of it. When you've got rock on a leather like this, you, you can almost just sit it on the bottom because it will be anchored to the weight of the rock. But um, we might glue it in. I'm gonna use the Max Spec long handled uh, grippers to try some different positions in the tank, see where we want it. This is perfect. So I could leave it as it is and not glue it in, but I'm gonna glue it just because it will prefer to be locked into position. Um, having it low in the tank will allow it to grow quite large. Of course, sarcophytons can get huge. It's something we may need to remove in the future, but uh, we've got a heap of the, the glue left, so I might as well use it, and I'll try and use the last of that little tube up on this one here. But that's exactly where I want it. Let's see if I can get it back there with the glue on it. So I don't really know where to glue on this one. I'm just gonna go nuts and put it everywhere. I've probably got more glue than I need, but I might as well use this one up. Amazingly, I think I've got some great contact with the glue on the rock here. So this Sarko Phyton is probably gonna do really well in this position. But it brings to my attention the algae that we have on the substrate here. And that is the reason why we've brought some Strom snails. So we'll put the Strom snails in and we'll be pretty much done. nice to see that all of our corals have been glued in place and are holding strong on the glue. It is particularly important to secure certain corals into your tank so that the flow doesn't knock them over and damage them. The biggest tip that I could give you is to ensure that you minimize the water flow in your tank whilst you're gluing the corals in place. It's also good to use a good quality coral glue such as the Gallery Aquatica Coral Gel. So that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.